Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the uh, Total War Three Kingdoms Gong Du campaign. Holy shit. Look at how large my territory is. Guys, this... When is this campaign? This campaign is going to be over like real soon. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not, but it feels like it is. I guess it's because... I look back on the Yuan Chu campaign. I feel like the Yuan Chu campaign was just like a long disaster of me trying to hang on to every little territory I could and like doing these really long sieges. I guess I guess I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. It feels like I just prolonged the game. But uh, I guess we'll see how long this campaign ends up being. I haven't taken any of the enemy. I have to take all of the kingdom seats, I think. Um, I think I do. But um, anywho. Uh, things are going pretty well. I've got armies. I have four armies currently. I've also, I, I just had a huge battle here on the river. I, you, you know, you wouldn't know it was a huge battle because it was a naval battle, which is not actually a real battle according to this game. So you'll never know that that actually happened. So there's actually a Kong Rong army heading towards Chang'an. What's the garrison like at Chang'an? That's a pretty good garrison. I don't know. I mean, they're pretty weak. I oh, I say they're pretty weak. They're actually rather strong. So we might actually run into some trouble here. Regardless of what we're going to do, we're going to go run down this army first. Uh, we're going to fight this. It says we're going to take medium losses. I don't want to take medium losses. Let's actually fight this battle. Uh, this will be some nice income for us. This army, I think, could use some upgrading. Um, look, I just realized how many yellow turban archers this army has. <laughs> I don't know what exactly it is about the yellow turban archers, but I kind of think there's something wrong with them that makes them really good. I don't know what it is, but they are incredibly powerful. Um, I guess uh, I don't really know. I can't explain why, but they just are. All right, we're just going to start the battle. Um, it looks like they have some men in the forest here. Let's go arrange my men over this way. Uh, let's see. Where's my cavalry? There we go. Let's go get my cavalry over here. Let's go get my generals up front. Let's go bring these men over this way. Not uh, too scared of the enemy on this fight. My men are in a bit, a uh, bit of whoops, see Daisy. Let's see. I think I took some of my men off of skirmish somehow. Yeah, or put them back into turn off skirmish mode so they won't retreat. My white wave horsemen, let's go inch them forward. And let's go get my archers a little bit closer as well. I'm curious about how good the archery masters are going to be. I did spend a little bit of extra money. Uh, if they are not worth it, I will just go back to using yellow turban archers. Yellow turban archers are cheap as fuck. I, I'm, I'm more than happy to use those guys. So we got some men coming out of the forest. My cavalry is taking some fire. Let's go pull back. These are some uh, crossbowmen. We're taking some slight losses at the moment. We'll just pull them back. Uh, let's go move my archers forward. I find it interesting how this game groups up your men like this under the command of each individual unit. I feel like it's a little weird because in a battle you just end up commanding all of your men as one because it's, you don't want your men to be in these tiny little like you want an army to be that's pretty united like you want spears with spears and swords with swords etc so you don't really divide your men the way the game thinks you should i suppose i mean i guess you can divide your men however you want in the end but i don't know watch out it's late. It's kind of late at night. It's like uh, midnight, almost midnight. And I'm just kind of talking out of my butt. <laughs> uh, looks like they're challenging my general. 
Not a good idea. Her Yi is going to be fighting uh, Kong uh, Leon Lan Ting. Actually, have some pretty decent numbers over here. Go charge this saber militia. Charge here. Saber militias are not built to fight cavalry units. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! I think we just annihilated those units. Uh, let's just charge here. Kind of hard to see in order charges because my men i like the only unit that came in at this unit of chanters <laughs> great uh let's go send this unit we have a unit of cavalry over here that kind of got uh into my men somehow Go bring in these men. Uh, we should have victory here any moment. Looks like a mass kind of panic right now. Really hard to see because they took this position in the forest. It's like Her Yi killed that general. Gong Du killed the other one. I think that's uh, GG for us. Yeah, archers racked up some kills real quick. Cavalry got a bunch of kills. What are we? Uh, do they have like an unbreakable general or something? What are we? What are we waiting for here? There we go. All right, GG, easy win. Uh, probably took more losses than I needed to. Um, we're gonna put some parting shots into this general, but easy win it's also gonna fill my coffers up because every single victory just gives me a bunch of money yeah very few losses overall very very few like what unit took the most losses here uh i'm not, i can't even really tell maybe the white wave horse the white wave veterans took a cavalry charge i think see okay here's something that pisses me off about this game we fought literally right next to the great wall show me the great wall like why is there no great wall make it part of the battle Shit, what's the fucking point? We should not waste resources on imprisoning them. All right, let's just go ahead and recruit. The task. And dismiss this. A misunderstanding. Um, this army is very weak. Um, kind of don't like leaving these armies behind, but I guess we'll just leave it behind. This army needs to move back south because there's a... I feel like I'm about to lose Chang'an. There might be a hard fight to keep Chang'an over there. I've got this army over here in the south. Uh, I wanted to send this army to go take Wuling and wipe out Kai Mao, uh, which could be nice. I'm also a little bit worried about uh, this kingdom of kingdom of Ba. A little bit worried about those guys. We'll worry about that later. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and wipe out these guys at Wuling. And uh, let's see, is there anything I can or should upgrade? I want to upgrade my core cities more than other ones. Um, the ones on the exterior, I feel like, are more prone to be lost at some time. So, uh, let's see. Jin Chang is doing pretty well. Um, Wu Wei. Okay, so Wu Wei... It's giving me income from commerce, income from peasantry. Um, how much income am I getting from commerce? 75. Uh, let's see. Income from peasantry. That would give me 10% income from peasantry. 10% income from industry. I guess let's go ahead and let's build the manufacturing. It'll give me 100 income. And we can build some buildings that will make that a little bit better. Uh, let's see. 
I think Chang'an might be the city that's in the most danger at the moment. Uh, we could build this. We could upgrade this drinking house. I kind of like having the high satisfaction. Um, that's pretty nice. See, I can upgrade this. It gives me 30% income from commerce and 25 from industry. Um, this place does give you a lot of commerce and industry. It looks like I really built this settlement well. This is uh, Shang Yong. Let's go ahead and upgrade Shang Yong. It probably needs an upgrade of the city too. I wonder how much money I actually get from that city. So this city gives us a lot of income from industry and some income from commerce. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this one too. We'll be a little bit more modest here. Let's go ahead and leave that where it is. And uh, let's go ahead and end this turn for now. I feel like I'm about to lose Chang on, but I don't think there's anything I can really do about it short of, uh, I mean, it's, it's too late. Uh, it looks like they kind of turned back, so that's fine with me. I want to get that army at Ba Dong back in good shape as fast as I can. Huang Zhu's kind of running around. Okay. It's really amazing how different this campaign is than previous ones. Um, we have rebellions, rebellions, war. Gained a Marshal G, and we also gained a Master Craftsman. 10% income from industry faction-wide. I wonder how good that would be. If I equip that to my faction leader. All right, let's continue moving this way towards Wu Ling and uh, over here. Kind of wanted to take the Kang Wu uh, livestock farm, but that'll have to wait. All right, so I've got this general here. This is uh, Zhang Kai. He's actually, it looks like he's wounded, but he's actually ready to go. Um... Let's go march this way towards Shang Yang because uh, we are at war with the Duchy of Zong. It actually says like we're going to no. lose this battle. They're garrisoned inside the city. We'll, we'll uh, roll up. They might attack me if they're if they're feeling if they're feeling Randy. They might actually come after me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice here and say that this army is too weak to do anything to me. Hmm. Really hesitant to leave my to leave my my areas over here like almost undefended. A little bit hesitant to do that because the garrisons I have are not particularly strong. Why? Why every every yellow tur every campaign I have ever done, Kong Rong is a pain in my ass. What is it about Kong Rong exactly? What makes him such a pain in the ass? Can I wipe you out? Okay, I'm really glad I can wipe this guy out. I don't want to leave this guy in my back line. There we go. Good. Get rid of this guy. Another cool $1,500. Uh, dismiss. I don't care about this. Okay. That's all taken care of. Uh, this army is still retraining. They're kind of useless over here in Ba Dong. Um, I'd like to move them over towards Wu Ling if possible, <laughs> but I don't think we're going to get away with that for now. So I think that's going to end our turn. Let's go see. Do we have any other upgrades? Maybe an upgrade in Chengdu. We actually have a rebellion in Chengdu. Let's go upgrade Chengdu to a larger city. And let's upgrade Ba Shi into a larger city. I've got some rebellions going on, but I think we should be okay dealing with those. Uh, I'm not too worried about the Han Empire. Well, another Kong Rong army has now landed over there. Man, I really need an ar Man, the Kong Rong armies are just piling in, dude. <laughs> I don't know where they come from, but there's more and more showing up, man. Us no more. Uh, who even are you? So they are offering me peace. I don't even know who Lao Zhumeng is. Sure. Uh huh. Yeah, totally. Okay, I'll take your money. 
I'm not even sure who you are. <laughs> so we have rebellions everywhere because my taxes are high. Uh, I don't think there's really much I could do about that. We gained a devious attendant. More rebellions are about to happen. All right, so we had a large, a large Kongrong army has just shown up. Hmm. If I pop my guys into Force March, I wish you could attack in Force March, but you just can't, apparently. All right, we're going to try to go deal with that army if we can. Not possible. Cultivate mm. I want to attack here. We do have a lot of these yellow turban warriors. A little bit worried about my, my chances with just yellow turban warriors against... I mean, they have a lot of militia themselves, but the garrison here. Yeah, they've got a. You can actually see the building. This is actually their garrison right here. Let's see. There's the gar. Oh, th is this the garrison? No fucking way. They've got like two armies here. Or is that. Is this guy considered part of the garrison? Yuan Yi? No, that's a different dude. That's their administrator, I guess. Yeah, that's that's pretty much fighting two armies at once. I should probably think twice before just jumping into that. Um, that would likely be not good for me. Let's go wipe out this Han force right here. Slim Pickens, just 51 men. Still gained me a pretty decent chunk of money. And let's continue our march toward the Wuling Toolmaker. Uh, this army is just about ready. I can actually go attack this Han Empire uh, rebel unit here. Yeah, just just rebel scum. Chop his head off. This is some nice experience for my men too. Now let us celebrate with abandon. Thrust with conviction and strike true. Oneness grows closer. All right. And it looks like a bunch of these generals just leveled up, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get uh, range damage. Condemn. Integrity. 3% uh, income from peasantry. Preach is an active buff. I guess we'll go ahead and get focus for now. And uh, Dai Chin Fang also leveled up. See, this one enables Encourage. And this one gives Instinct, Enlightenment, and Unit Morale. I guess let's go ahead and get... Uh... Well, this one's a passive buff that gives 18 morale. I'd like... I think that extra morale and that passive buff is really nice. We're going to go attack this Duchy of Zong Remnant here too. Let's go finish them off. Another big old chunk of change here. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and take the replenishment as well. Alrighty. So I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this army. It might be nice to bring this army up here to go help. Uh, to help this army go take Shang Yang and strike a major blow there. It will take a little bit of time for them to get over there. A bunch of leveled up, leveled up, rivals, uncommon talent, yada, yada, yada. Okay, uh, I'm kind of feel like I've got, uh, I've got, I'm caught on the left foot here, especially with uh, the rally, not a big deal, but this army is just running around. I don't know what this army is going to do. I guess Chang An's in a pretty good position in terms of the garrison. But uh, I, I don't like that army running around in my back my back area. I, I'm almost tempted to go hire another army quickly to go try to deal with that. But I could try to peel off the Runan Iron Mines since they seem hesitant to come out of this. You know, I always talk about trying to get an ambush. Can I try to get an ambush going here? Outwards and on. Ambush. I never, I've never landed an ambush successfully. I'm really hoping we can get an ambush here. Let's see if that works. 
All right. Uh, and let's go ahead and end a turn, I guess. We'll see if that ambush works. I, I doubt it, but maybe they'll come out and maybe that gives us the chance there. I want to land an ambush just once. All right, we're getting attacked by this massive Kong Rong force. Nothing we can do. We're just going to delegate. There's no way we can win this one. Not worth our time. I was trying to catch up to that Kong Rong army, but they were running away from me. All right, we're just taking a ton of losses to Kong Rong at the moment. He just attacked me in two different places with two different armies. And I'm just going to have to pick up the pieces as we go. And there's the motherfucker himself. God, I, what Kong Rong in this campaign in, in Three Kingdoms is the most ridiculous son of a bitch there is. Every campaign, he's an asshole. I swear to God. Is he like the Gandhi of this campaign or something? Yeah, lost a bunch of trade. Okay. So we're we're on the other side of the Great Wall now, apparently. All right, I'm on my way to go attack there. We've got rebellions imminent everywhere. Yada 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 yada. yada, yada. Uh huh. We are reminded of new starts. Right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> Whole bunch of shit. All right, so we lost Hanjong. Uh, there's no help can really reach Hanjong at the moment. Look, this army actually left. Uh, I'm not sure where that army's heading to, but that army left. On the march. Serve integrity. Well, if I go out of this stance, I could probably sneak in and, and take Shang Yang. Let's go try to do that. This is where a trebuchet would be so useful. All right. Uh, it says we're going to take a Pyrrhic victory. They have a very strong garrison. Let's go ahead and try to siege it down. It says it's going to take two turns for our, to, uh, for our sapping to work. I think we can get there. Yeah, in two turns, we should be able to get there. So that means we're, we're probably gonna we're probably gearing up for a large battle in that direction. All right, let's go attack Kai Mao. I think this is his final territory. Ooh, he's actually got a pretty decent sized army here. Um, yeah, since we're gonna take an easy victory, let's just go ahead and take this. No point in fighting this. We're gonna have a lot of battles very soon, especially against Kong Rong. Justice cannot be denied. Let's just wipe him out quickly. In time, they will. Thank us for this. Sure, promote. Why not? All right, we have destroyed Kai Mao. Sure, promote. Gained the Book of Songs and we gained a traitor. Okay. We've completely secured Wu Ling now. It's another, uh, another area is under our control. Uh, is this the Wu Ling? This is the tool maker. There's actually nothing. It's does, it says it's a deserted tool forge. I guess let's go ahead and build up this tool forge so there's actually something here. And I'd be hesitant to move this army out of here considering that it's the only force in this region. Part of me kind of wants to raise an let's go let's go raise an army. Let's go raise another army here in Chang'an, I think. Um, just so to help keep the peace. Let's go get this guy, Guo Yi. He's 39 years old. Let's go raise. Thrust with conviction and strike true. And let's see. So that's Guo Yi. He is a scholar. A healer would also be nice. Let's go get this healer, Chin Yang Shu. I says they don't like each other very much. Uh, these are more scholars, healers. I don't know if these guys like each other at all. Let's go get this guy, sure. And I actually have no more veterans, it looks like. I'm out of veterans. Be the sword. Prepare my chambers. Prepare my chambers. <laughs> Alright, let's go uh Let's see. Let's go get some white wave horsemen for this guy. And let's see. We'll get some of these white wave veterans too. 
This guy's blue and yellow. I wish this guy could recruit some like actual archers. He can recruit. I mean, he can recruit the archery masters, I guess. But I feel like those guys are kind of uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. We get some peasants. Let's just go with the archery masters, man. Things are uh, things are a little rough right now, man. Things are things are not bad, but things are a little rough. I feel like I'm spending a lot of money to try to put out fires, but and we'll deal with it. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's grab uh, a 205 percent uh, rate. Let's see anything else we can upgrade? Minus 10 percent retinue upkeep. How much would this cost us? Eight turns. Ugh. It takes so long. Uh, let's go ahead and get local governance. This gives us more court. Yeah, let's go. That's going to take us less. Let's go get that. And uh, maybe we can stymie some of this bleeding. We're probably going to have some big battles here soon. So we're going to gain some money real soon as well. And uh, I think that's going to end my turn. Hopefully we can cover all this things my my economy is kind of teetering i feel like because the thing that worries me is that we're on very high taxes and there's a lot of han rebels in my area right now okay we are being attacked by a very large army we are outnumbered they have four thousand men so we are very outnumbered uh we're gonna have to take this let's go ahead and take this battle this is probably one of the biggest battles we've had in this campaign so far I actually meant to turn down some of the unit details because I feel like the bigger battles in this campaign have been a little laggy. I don't know if my PC can handle it. It is a new game after all. But, um... See, there are reinforcements are going to appear here. I think it's better. I think I'd be a lot better off keeping my men grouped up. So, let's go ahead and let's start the battle. Yeah, that would that would not have been a smart move. We're, we can go and take this hill and try to fire down from this elevated position. I think that would be the wise choice in this situation. Move my cavalry to some open ground here. Got some of my random yellow turban units. And uh, let's see. Let's get Gong Du over here in front. Like all of their... None of, nobody in their army can duel me. Only The only person that can duel is that other guy, but he's out of range. Let's go get our archers forward a bit. Got a big old battle looming over here. Uh, they do have... How many units of crossbowmen do they have? They have one unit of crossbowmen. They've got this Fury of Beihai. I've actually never had the Fury of Beihai like be a significant, do a significant amount of damage to me. I'm not sure what it is. If that's just the unit is not great or what, I honestly don't know. Let's see, will you duel any of my guys here? Is they're out of range at the moment. He's almost in range. I want to see if this guy will duel me. It's time to duel, bitch. Says he wants to duel. Let's do it, man.
Okay, Her Yi is off fighting the uh, fighting the enemy general here. We've got our elevated position from the fire from. Hopefully my yellow turban archers. Looks like they're ordering an all-out attack. Okay, my cavalry is kind of moving into position here. They jumped headlong into my uh, into my spearmen. Got some extra cavalry, and it's going to go send my generals to go deal with that. The cavalry is launched headlong into their archers. Let's go uh, buff up my men wherever we can here. Trying to hunt down that archer militia, but they're running away like crazy. I just don't, I simply just don't have enough cavalry. Like we're running down, my cavalry is running down their archers as fast as they can, but they just can't kill them fast enough. How is this cavalry unit, how is this archer militia still alive? Get out of town, man. Dude, it's a white wave horseman. They're uh, kind of launched in there. Somehow this archer militia just continues to survive. I have no idea how. The enemy warriors are running. It's like her ye won the battle. That's going to hurt their morale. The enemy general falls. Ha! Another enemy general has fallen. I got a lot of enemy generals here. Trying to go get this cavalry unit going into this into this unit of archers. It's like nobody actually wants to duel. You're going to this unit of archers, please. That Fury of Beihai, I spoke too soon earlier. That Fury of Beihai actually kind of fucked me up. They got 136 kills and counting. Uh, I spoke too soon on that one. They actually did some decent damage to me. Oh, it's just too many, man. Just too many men. I needed like double. If I had double the cavalry I had in this army, we would have had no issue. Um, but instead, we're going to take a lot of losses. I don't know what this cavalry unit is doing. They're just kind of fucking around. My uh, my units keep getting caught by their... My cavalry units keep getting caught by their infantry here. White Way veterans uh, fought very bravely in this battle. think uh army losses yeah army losses took over oh man rough rough battle uh we did the best we could on that one there was a lot of enemies and they had a whole bunch of cavalry too killed the number of their generals uh just uh yeah it's a tough battle on that one gg Let's see archers got a bunch of kills man these yellow turban archers uh, maybe they could have gotten done a little bit better, but maybe that was most, that also could have been my fault. I don't know if the Militia of Virtue is super worth it either, to be honest. I'm starting to wonder if some of these units are actually worth... Like, they're fun. Are they worth having, though? Like, 
it would have been it would have been the decider if i hadn't had that militia of virtue instead if i had had enough, like if i got rid of the militia of virtue and maybe that yellow turban warrior two more cavalry units there would have been, would have made a big difference in that battle so i don't know it might be worth it to get rid of some of these gimmick units in favor of something that's going to be more effective How much money am I going to get from this battle? Oh, it looks like Kong Rong just fell over. The people's voice cannot be silenced. It gave me almost 3,000 income, which is nice. <laughs> we gained a nice horse and a scroll of some kind. Uh, an execute and execute, sure. Uh, let's go to recruit. I could actually, after all, many, all those losses, I could actually use uh, recruitment there. Okay, looks like uh, the Duchy of Zong's defenses just kind of fell apart. They they left their, their capital and they're just kind of running around. It's like Chengdu is being attacked by rebels. All right, that's a lot of rebellion, man. <laughs> I gained the Gray Elite, the Zhuang Z, and the Black Thoroughbred. Okay. Let's go uh, fight them here. Ah, this is what, exactly what I'm afraid of. Why? Uh, why were they taking damage? Like, look at that. Why? Why are they weakened? So their men are very weak. All right, let's. We'll we'll postpone that decision. We can probably win that battle. It's gonna be annoying if so. Uh See, if I turn the taxes back down, we're going to be in a really bad position, too. Troops. Shout fury. As this siege is ongoing, let's just continue Four that people. siege. Oh, I just need... I need more armies than... I just need armies everywhere is the issue. I probably need to turn the taxes back down. So I don't think I can take Han Zong with this army. Pretty sure I can't do that. Um, I cannot. let's go retake Shou Fong. Uh, let's delegate this one out. Medium losses. Really going to take medium losses from this. And I really don't want to fight that siege. I mean, money is fine. Money is doing well. In time, they will thank us for this. No, I, I don't know why the yellow turbans get so much garbage. Like, why do we, why do we get so much? All right, gain some more shit. You have a horse. He's got the red thoroughbred. We're going to give you the gray elite. And we'll give you the black thoroughbred. There we go. Okay, dealt with that. Maybe there's a way I can get this army or this army. Maybe I can get them to pr provide some help. I think this is just, I just have to weather this for now. Um, and I should probably recruit. Just spend my fucking money, right? Just spend it. Dude, what's the young general? This guy's, this chick is 24. Mu Hui Zhuan. It's another scholar, but I'm kind of without options here, right? Like, I don't know what to do. I don't have any. I need to hire some veterans is what I need. Um, And let's go ahead and let's get a bunch of... Let's get these peasant archers. Why not? Right? Just use those. <laughs> let's be cheap about it. Let's go send this army to try to intercept this Duchy of Zong army here. Um... You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. And I guess I need to decide whether I'm going to try to fight this stupid battle against these Han rebels. They're so few in number, but my garrison is so bad. I mean, I just I guess I just have to try. If I don't try now, they're going to wear down my siege. Uh, let's just start the battle. Try to defeat these Han rebels. I'm a little bit scared mostly of their generals, I think, is the thing that scares me the most. 
but uh we'll see thankfully they don't have any they don't have any of the generals that are really good against large groups of uh men so that that works in our favor I think if I'm going to have the taxes this high, I need to build garrisons everywhere so we can e we can more easily destroy these uh, these attacking forces. So it looks like they are uh, moving in to attack. Got their two generals and their kind of pathetic army. I think the best thing we can do is tr try to focus down their their cavalry as much as we can. Cavalry units back there. Let's um. Try to engage them in melee as fast as we can. Let's go shoot this Lance Cavalry unit. I don't want to take... I don't want to let them run around and charge me. They are buffing some of their men with uh, melee evasion, which is annoying. I'm going to rear charge these guys with this uh, people's war band. And try to wipe out these archers quickly too. And then these archers are about to route. Yeah, these archers just routed. Let's go ahead and turn my archer fire onto their actual troops. more wavering going on they're not going to last too much longer it's going to become it's going to become my troops fighting their fighting their generals is what this is going to become here any second so they came back from routing i don't know how long they're going to last from uh, coming back from routing charge this unit the enemy run. Craven. Kill them. It right, looks like we're more or less sweeping them up so we should not looks like we're not going to lose this territory which is nice i don't want to lose the last thing I want to do is lose my territory to these sloppy rebel battles. We've routed all of their men. Now it just comes down to their generals here. We have to pull them down off their, off their hoity-toity horses. Let's go have this, these guys. These are, what are these? Bringers of Righteousness. Have the Bringers of Righteousness attack this... Uh, this general unit here. They've got their big ass glives. Take her out. Seems like this general is wavering. She's not going to last too long. Uh, this general is going down fast. Yeah, this general did not want to be fighting my... Uh, my spearman here. Oh, take her out. Look at this guy. This guy's a fucking hero, dude. <laughs> All right. Nice. 
GG. Close victory. Fought off these rebels. They need to accept that the Han Empire has fallen and is never going to return. The sooner they accept that, the happier we'll all be. No need for them to kill. They can live they can live peacefully, or they can join my army if they wanted to. I could also do that. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. Let's go ahead and uh, execute. They must be made an example of. And recruit. Dismiss. There we go. All right, so we dealt with that siege over at Chengdu. We did not lose Chengdu. Still have a lot of rebellions around, so we're going to be Stay facing fixed. some issues. I'm hoping I can send this army as a kind of police force and deal with shit wherever it comes up. Uh, speaking of shit that's coming up, there's another army out here. I think we're going to be fighting a lot of rebels, guys. I think, uh, I think we got some rebels coming in. So I've got this lucky not weavery. Let's uh, demolish this. Let's build a uh, a garrison, please. Need to build uh, garrisons in different areas. A garrison at Chengdu would also be nice. What do I have at Chengdu? A lot of income, peasantry, uh, temple. I don't think I can afford to build one at Chengdu at the moment. What about uh, Ba? Looks like Ba can afford a garrison. Let's go give Ba a garrison. Doesn't need to be a massive or like really powerful garrison. Just any garrison will help put my numbers over the enemy. And that's that's pretty much all we need. It's like Shang Yong. Shang Yong could actually use like a real upgrade. I really need to watch my income though. I really have to watch that. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn because I feel like it's the only, the only thing left to do is worry at my economy and try to and upgrade little buildings here or there. Or just end the goddamn turn. Seems like the Duchy of Zong thought better about uh, attacking me down there. And it looks like they might be trying to head back. <laughs> All right, we're getting attacked by a lot of Han rebels. This one's an easy win for us. Let's just delegate this one. Go and recruit. All right. Lots of peace. Uh, sure. We'll go with superstitious. Do not permit. Okay. Shofong uh, will be fine. I'm sure. We're going to send Gongdu south. We can go try to finish off. Well, they ran away. Never mind. Oh, we can actually catch. Oh, wow, Gongdu's got some campaign movement range, man. He's can, he's really moving around this map. Let's try to wipe out Kong Rong here. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Another $1,500. We'll take that. Let's go ahead and recruit. For China. Dismiss. All right, we'll keep this army moving in this direction towards Anding. Every rebellion in literally every town in the entire game. <laughs> Poised to strike. Thankfully, I can actually go take out this army right now. Let's go ahead and do that and delegate. I think this these generals need weapons, so we should actually equip these guys. I've got plenty of weapons. We have need of courageous warriors. My blade is poised. Let's see what do we got? All right, let's give this guy. Uh, I'll give this guy a martial G. Give this guy a military great axe. And give Mu Hui Zhuan. We'll give her a war axe. Okay. Let's see, we'll go ahead and give her this. Give this guy, uh, let's see, expertise, cunning, speed. We'll go ahead and give him the overseer, and we'll give this guy, uh, what should we give this guy? Let's 
We'll go ahead and give him the Master Craftsman. Uh, seems like that would actually probably be better. Ooh, plus 30% food production, plus 8 satisfaction. He's actually kind of low on satisfaction, isn't he? I guess we'll give him the Jade Monkey. That'll make him a little bit happier, too. Would anything actually give more satisfaction or no? Be cool if you could, like, give him, a like, a woman or something. <laughs> Here. Here, be more satisfied. I don't think with this army that has so many peasant archers, I really don't think this army can take that army in Hanzong. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so we'll have to, we're going to have to wait for Gong Du to get back. Okay, so this army is now ready to go take Shang Yang for sure. This is telling me it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory. I mean, we're going to take medium losses. Uh, let's go ahead and start this battle. I'm going to have to fight this one myself. Otherwise, we're going to take way more losses than we should. And with the amount of forces in the area, I think they it's, I think it's necessary. Of all of China. Though the world is reborn, its purpose remains unchanged. Let's do it. In victory, our ambitions are realized. Let us go. Yeah, let's do it. I agree. So we siege down their walls. That means that their walls are going to be in pretty rough shape here. Yeah, you can see right here that this area is pretty much all their towers are all destroyed. So that's going to be pretty easy for us to just go ahead and sneak on in. All right. So I can get my Yu Sha right up to the wall here. I'm going to try to just run these guys in. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and start this battle. We got their spearmen on the way. Take heed, warriors. Double time. Take heed, warriors. Our comrade is under attack. Oh, they actually do have uh, wall trebuchets, it would seem. Well, that is uh, less than ideal. Of all the things that could have got taken down, I wish that got taken down. So we get my U shot to charge headlong. Well, that's some gnarly trebuchet shots they had there, man. Let's go try to silence those trebuchets as fast as we can. No, they said this was going to be a medium loss victory. Uh, victory. I'm starting to believe them. <laughs> starting to believe we're going to take some medium losses on this one. Stand ready. Show them justice. Okay, I'm going to bring up my venerable Wu here. What on earth is going on here? Oh my god. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks absurd. <laughs> Hey, we're shooting down their archers as much as we can, but, uh, yeah, it's just one of those like super bloody stalemates here until we fight our way through the wall.
And then once we once we run out, we're in a what if we run out of, of archer ammunition? We're in a lot of trouble too. I guess let's go send, try to send these guys over the walls so we can get some men behind all this garbage. I feel like the Yusha are a really cool unit that I'm never going to get to use in a cool way because I don't know. They're so low in number. So my archers are out of ammo. We're just down to melee forces here. Zankai is kind of fucking going crazy on this unit of saber militia from behind. We got a Jan infantry captain over here is still fighting on. Right, these units are on their way down. We're just kind of flooding into the settlement. Uh, you know, the Yusha took some damage here, but overall, I feel like this battle wasn't too bad for us. Stand ready. The time has come. Probably could have been much, much worse in retrospect. <laughs> this like this like infantry flood here here's a uh, shang ping yuan He's carving up these archers while this infantry unit jumps in too it's kind of this looks less like a chinese military battle looks more like an orc horde just took over the city honestly <laughs> I've become the orc horde I made fun of so much in Yuan Shu. Carving down these archers, we got a saber cavalry here. My venerable Wu is. Have they, is my venerable Wu even done a single? They, they haven't killed like a single unit. Kind of a big old blob over there. Have her keep attacking that unit. We don't want them coming back from routing, at least not for free. Let's see. How many kills is Zenkai has 64 kills. Tang Shen has 42. It looks like we've got a route going on. I don't know who's left. There's a cavalry unit over here. As they're shaking, I think that might be their last unit. All right, kind of a kind of a messy, bloody affair, but it looks like we took this city. Let's see, yeah, army losses took over, and that's uh, GG. I guess they had a G infantry captain left on the men as well. Okay, probably took less losses doing that than if I just let the AI give me that Pyrrhic victory, I think is what they said it was going to be. So probably better off that we did that, even though it was still bloody. We got to see the Yusha a little bit in battle, not that much, and a kind of not great engagement, but... From the roots to yeah, 429 losses is not bad overall. Let's go ahead and occupy. They will thank us for this. Dismiss dismiss i don't need this Remain honest. let's uh repair the settlement unify in one direction 
be really nice to catch up with this army and try to pin them from both sides. I might get attacked this next turn. I don't know. Well, I actually don't know if they can reach. Let's keep chasing down this unit. Um, this army. See if we can catch up with them. All right. Chengdu is under attack again. This one should be easy. Yeah, let's just delegate this one. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. Killed this general. Let's go ahead and recruit. For the greater good. The greater good. And we're also under siege at Han Zong. Please tell me we can win here. Thank you. Okay, Han Zong can also win. All right. Getting kind of nervous with all these rebellions, though. They are giving me pretty nice money, though. I gotta say. For <laughs> China. I just wish I had. I wish I had garrisons, though. I just wish I had better garrisons. All right, so I left this. Uh, Shofong is going to be fine. I'm not worried about Shofong. Okay, and uh, let's see, we got. I'm not too worried about that one either. Let's go ahead and build a garrison in Bashi. You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. All right, so I've also got this army. Um, See, this army is kind of left with nothing to do. A part of me is just tempted to just begin the war. Can this army solo the kingdom of Ba? Is the question. I kind of feel like the answer to that question is no. But if they could, you could imagine it'd be pretty awesome. All right, we're going to go send this army to the Wuling. To Wuling. And we're going to send that army west to go settle Fuling. We're gonna, it's probably time to get, start settling these areas. And stop leaving them open to attack. Uh, let's see. A bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. So my income is still mostly built on killing enemies. It'd be, I could probably fix my income if I dismissed an army. But I think I'd rather not do that. Oh, this this army is hot garbage with these peasant archers. They got some actually the the, the infantry isn't too bad. Impossible. Part of me is tempted to go try it. Like, what's the worst that could ever happen, right? Odds odds are we'll just lose the we'll just lose the army, right? Remain firm. I may go attack this Han the Hanzong silk trader in a little bit. Uh, if I could take them out, I could I could send Gongdu here to go attack Shi He and stuff instead. But um, let's take a quick look and let's see if anybody wants peace or anything. Let's see. Peace. Kong Rong does want peace. So does the Han Empire. What about a trade agreement? Let's say the Kingdom of Wei would like consider it. Let's see. Kingdom of Wei. What business could we possibly have? Kind of almost want a trade agreement. Says they would want a food exchange. We'll offer food 10 for... Is it three food for 10 turns? I mean, all right. A reasoned proposal. Sure. Did that boost my income at all? It boosted my income a little bit. I don't know. Probably worth it. I would give I would be tempted to give Kong Rong peace here, but I don't want to leave Kong Rong's garbage like I don't want to give them Han Zong for nothing. So I'll I'll be tempted to give them peace, or at least I'll be te more tempted by the offer after I get rid of them there. Uh let's go ahead and uh let's uh end this turn. Ooh, we I guess we can build a garrison over here too. Let's go build a garrison at uh Jiang Ling too. All right, let's go ahead and end one more turn. Let's see how things play out. This will be probably the last turn end of the episode. I do need to get to sleep tonight. Another Kong Rong army has shown up. Kong Rong, I gotta, I gotta hand it to him. Must be pruned of strangling weed. Well, we, we asked if Kingdom of Ba, if that army could solo the Kingdom of Ba. I think we're going to find out. <laughs> we will find out soon. Looks like my income went up considerably. I wonder why that was. 
at least it edged up a tiny little bit all right let's go ahead and uh delegate this is an easy win get these uh rebels off of me release them a little bit more free money for me all right so this army is in pretty good shape i can actually pop this army into force march i think and try to get this army down this way as fast as i can all right it's good timing over here we've also got a han rebellion happening right here let's go ahead and uh delegate this one the people's voice cannot be silenced the constant rebellions are like my <laughs> <For China. laughs> i feel like they're actually more valuable for me for for just my weekly income than anything else well, I wanted to go settle Fu Ling and try to build up my, my territories over here. But since Zhang Ki has declared war on me, I guess we're going to move out against Zhang Ki. And I certainly can't leave that area undefended. No. So the Runan Iron Mine is nearby. Also, Nan Yang is nearby. Let's see. Can I send this army to go deal with this with this force? Let's go try to wipe out this Han Empire or this uh Duchy of Zong. Marching. Oh, they almost got away from me. Not quite though. Let's go ahead and delegate. Oof. <laughs> Justice cannot be denied. Easy win. Another cool thirteen hundred dollars. We'll take that. And Pretend ransom, sure. And it looks like uh, Xiong Ping, Ping Wan has leveled up. She can probably actually field some much better troops too. But uh, we'll leave that as is for now. Let's see. Condemn, fanaticism, melee armor, piercing damage, and melee damage. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds good. And we've got uh, this army. Impossible. Let's see, I don't know how strong the Runan Iron Mine Garrison is. Let's go ahead and let's uh, besiege them and see if we can make them come out and fight us here. Yeah, I know, I know it's going to tell me I'm going to lose the battle. Woo, that's pretty strong, actually. Got so much cavalry. What kind of map are we besieging? Oh, it's one of these super shitty ones, too. I think if I let them come out and attack me, they've got such an overwhelming amount of cavalry. That's going to be really fucking bad. I don't think I can do that. I'm not even sure if I have fire arrows. All right, let's get start the battle. Let's see if we have any fire arrows. I can always order my men to retreat. Um, Our roots are strong. I can't sit we under the... I for much. sure can't sit under their towers and we let them do that to me. The precipice. Time to fight. I don't know if this army is ready for this fight. They are cloaked in anonymity. Be mindful. Cloaked in anonymity. Let no odds dampen our zeal. Arrows. Arrows. We actually do have fire arrows. <laughs> All right. Shout out to the yellow turban archers, man. All right, let's start the battle. I'm going to go try to burn down their uh, towers here so we won't take as many losses. A comrade is being attacked. Make ready. Make we'll draw fire with my, um, with my generals here. That tower is burning. Attend. All right, 
that tower is also going to be burning. Okay, we should be good. Put these guys back on this one. Let's go get everybody away. Well, I guess we're going to really see what these archery masters are worth. This is kind of their chance to shine. Yes, we accidentally set this forest on fire, too. Alright, that tower has burned. Does anybody want to duel? Looks like nobody really wants to duel. Okay, all those burned down. Uh, let's go move. Let's go move these archers forward. Turn these guys off of fire at will. Yeah, I don't really have, uh, I don't have fantastic anything. I have nothing fantastic. I might end up leaning pretty hard on my generals in this battle, or at least try to. I mean, all I can do is try, right? If nothing else, I will definitely bloody their nose, but man, they've just got so much cavalry here too. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we've got my... These are my bringers of righteousness. Let's go ahead and open fire with these guys. These are my archery masters. I haven't really had a good chance to use the archery master units. taking shots from is we're taking shots from these guys it's archer militia do they actually have range i guess they do I go fire on this uh go fire on this archery militia and get rid of them So we got rid of them pretty fast. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Let's go move in these yellow turban archers as well. I think the numbers are going to really play out against us here is probably what this battle is going to end up being going to open fire with my yellow turban archers. We'll let them do what they're going to do. Let's go get a yellow turban warrior ready to charge. We're going to charge the spear guard. We're going to try to send our men in one at a time so we don't exhaust our men. Uh, we don't want our men getting too tired before the battle even starts. Because the Righteous has got some pretty decent, uh, some pretty decent kills, honestly, with their bows. I'm not, I'm pretty impressed. I feel like they did probably maybe slightly better in terms of archery than the Azure Dragons would have. And this general, they still, they actually still have uh, ammo, believe it or not. Attention, 
Archery masters still have 60%, 50% ammo, and they got over a hundred. They almost have over a hundred kills themselves each. All right, I want to bring up my venerable Wu right behind here because I want them to just scare the enemy. I don't actually want them. I, that's all I want them to do. <laughs> Our men have no they cannot fire. All right. This yellow turban warrior charged in. Go get my archery masters to go shoot this uh, archer militia that's shooting us. Look, the enemy runs. The, number, the numbers are going down very quickly. try to shoot this mounted lancer militia right here it's a nasty cavalry unit uh i mean well i say it's a nasty cavalry unit it's a basic cavalry unit but it'd be nice to get rid of them as fast as possible all right my two units of bringers of righteousness they ran out of ammo so let's go ahead and throw them in the melee actually you know what we can actually rest them Let's uh, rest them and let's bring in another unit of uh, yellow turban warriors. So that they are very tired. So the yellow turban archers ran out of ammo. At least one unit did. The other unit's slowly running out of ammo here. Right, we'll go throw in the venerable Wu right here too. I wonder how good that poison weapon shit really is. Okay, we got a, we got charged by this cavalry unit. Let's go set. It's a raider cavalry. Let's go send them in. Getting random shots on this side. Let's go pull up my generals here. bring up these spears too i want to be more careful i want to be very careful with my ammo that my remaining ammo with from my archery masters i don't want to waste that if i can help it i feel like that might be key for me to win Anybody want to duel? Nobody wants to duel. Stand ready. Ten. Show fury. Try to get my generals in here to help fight Ten off their seven. cavalry. Generals should carve up this cavalry unit real fast. Yeah, they, they went down very quickly after that. kind of want to pull back here a little bit i don't want to just charge in um i still have ammo left on my archery masters let's go ahead and shoot off this uh let's go to get rid of this stupid unit of archer militia while we can so they shattered that was enough those arrows were enough to just uh, convince them otherwise. All right. So my men are still very tired. 
I'd really like for them to not be tired anymore. Let's try to wait for them to recuperate here very, very shortly. Uh, these reclaimers are actually still full strength. Let's get these reclaimers in forward. I'm going to send my uh, generals to go charge this mounted Lancer militia. And I've got spears coming in right behind them. Come on, get in there, generals. Steal yourselves. Prepare. The time has come. To attention. Spin it. To attention, Stephen. I really like to envelop the enemy as much as I can with my spears. Just gonna run this spear unit forward. I was going to have my archer, my archer militia or my archery masters just fire at these men over here. Let's go pull this general back. My uh, scholar is taking some nasty hits. Well, the archery masters are pouring some heavy fire on them. The men are out of ammunition. Yeah, we just ran out of ammunition. I think it's time we pour on, uh, we pour some gasoline on the fire here. Man, I don't know. There's a lot of men left. <laughs> There's so many men left. I think this general is about to go down too. We're taking some uh, some heavy fire now from their archers. This crossbowman unit's really pouring it onto us, and we're just we're just super bunched up here. This is your yellow turban zerg rush happening over here. <laughs> I really need to be cautious with my generals here too. My generals have put in some hard fighting against their generals. I'd love to get my cavalry swooping in behind right here. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think the numbers are really starting to work against us. Doesn't matter. It didn't matter how many we killed. Really, there's not much left beyond this. I probably, you know what I probably shouldn't have done is committed all of my men into this battle. That was probably my big mistake. I should have, I should have kept, I should have kept going with the one, one unit at a time. Do you have some routing going on? We also killed their generals. Make ready. 
Take heed, warriors. Okay, I really need to get my generals out of there. Run, run. It's possible they would just get wounded, but I don't want to take the chance. Sounds like gunshots are like, I don't know. It's, I really don't know what's happening in this battle right now. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest. I have no idea what's going on. I just really, really want my cavalry to get in here somehow, but. All right, let's try to swing my cavalry through over here. Looks like they all ran out of ammunition too so it's just a big old fucking mess over here it's possible because we um it might be that just because we have uh we've killed most of their generals that that might be the deciding factor here I just really dislike how much cavalry they still have. They have so much cavalry. All right, go charge these uh, militias over here. Normally, I try to neutralize their cavalry as fast as I can, but I want to get into the back of this blob. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's going on right here. <laughs> Look at this. The enemy warriors are running. What a fucking hot mess. Well. If you're wanting close-ups of battles, you got all the close-ups you want. So we got rear charged by this Raider cavalry. This is why I was afraid to commit cavalry in here. That cavalry unit's probably in a lot of trouble. To attention. Move, move. Or both those cavalry units probably in a lot of trouble. Move. Fury. This attack was probably ill-advised. I probably should have been more patient here. Yeah, these two cavalry units were were pretty much sacrificed for nothing. Trying to chop down these horsemen in the center with my generals if I can. It's impossible to tell what's going on. <laughs> If any of my generals dies, I feel like my morale might collapse. Take heed, warriors. The enemy unit flees. What cowards. Strike. Attend, swordsman. Kill them. Take heed, warriors. Swords drawn. I don't want the venerable Ready. wounded die because I want to keep my, uh, I want to keep my buffs. Tell them. Or my my uh, debuffs on the enemy going, because that is uh, apparently scaring them. 
right, there's a lot of wavering going on over here. A lot of routing, a lot of wavering. Our numbers are like pretty much even. <laughs> On chop them down, boys. See, right here is this is where if I had another unit of archery masters, it would be so nice to throw them in right now, but. I have any units who aren't fighting? Looks like this unit's not fighting. Let's try to go. Let's try to throw this unit forward too. It's a little trick of having. If you want your units to get closer to the battle, it's called pulling through. You can just kind of pull your units through your through your own units, and it's a better way to get your guys engaged. Um, kind of just like a classic total war trick. Looks like my cavalry is going down hard. Uh, I don't really know what I could have done about that. I guess I shouldn't have thrown them in the way I did. See, kill this guy. Kill this guy right here. Cut his head off. Don't let this guy live. Looks like uh, one of my cavalry units just routed. I want to see this guy die right here. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Stabbed him right in the chest. <laughs> that was sick. Looks like my cavalry units just retreated. And uh, we've resumed... Well, this is just going to grind out. I feel like we're going to win this. I feel like we're going to win this. The bringers of righteousness fought real hard, man. They fought in archery. They're fighting in melee. These guys, they fought hard. They earned, they earned those paychecks. They're still going, dude. They're not even done yet. Reclaimers are still going toe to toe. Uh, this unit of reclaimers kind of got caught in the back. Let's try to bring them forward too. It's probably closer to what like a real battle looked like, don't you think? I mean, who knows, right? But. Maybe this is a little claustrophobic for a real battle. I don't know. Good Lord, the sounds. See, I can use this active debuff to immobilize all of their men. Is that like... Uh... I mean, we get like free attacks in on them, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what that means. Spivet. Steal yourselves. Make ready. Destroy them. Let's go try to target their raider cavalry with my generals. The generals seem like they're pretty good at pulling down enemy cavalry. I, get, I just got to watch my generals very carefully. They'll probably route before they die, don't you think? Come on, take him down, boys. Hurry, move. Go, go, go. The enemy unit, please. What cowards? 
Like more routing. <laughs> what are the numbers? It looks like we actually outnumber the enemy uh, very slightly. Uh, you can't see it. My numbers are 1467. The enemy numbers are 1349. It looks like they're losing men faster than I am, but... Oh my god, what a stupid battle. It looks like they're losing men relatively fast. I don't know if that's the routing talking or what. So this general just being here, see this buff he has? It's just giving my men 10% armor just by him being here, which is which is pretty cool. Maybe that's why some of these men seem like they've lasted forever, like these bringers of righteousness and shit. Maybe that's why. I mean, what is there to do except just like do this, right? Some of my reclaimers are doing, I just saw an arm fly off. That horse just went down. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like that's all you can do, man. Whoa! What the hell was that? You guys see that? That was stupid. Was that just like a charging cavalry unit, I guess? <laughs> that's like my men just exploded. I guess that was that mounted saber militia just did that. Listen, I'm not going to give up. Look at that. Right there is another explosion. Listen, guys. You're not going to win this. Just give up, all right? <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Is anybody not fighting? I guess I can try to bring up these. So the Venerable Wu might not be close enough. Let's try to bring them closer. And maybe they can put some scare into the enemy. Okay, what does this say? Immune to scare. Reduce nearby enemy morale. Does not stack. So it looks like maybe just having this... this this unit nearby is causing some scare. I hope. We're trying to scare them off the battlefield at this point. <laughs> so that might have actually helped. Looks like a lot of them are routing. You can see that they're poisoned too. It may have actually done something for us. The time has come. Attend. Oh, I mean, we could just fast forward this, I guess. Kind of don't want to, but we could. Kind of ordering my men forward, keep the charge, keep the pressure going. We kind of fought over literally every inch of territory here. <laughs> oh my god, is this all the bodies? Okay, we started fighting here. A lot of yellow turbans over here, man. And we just fought all the way over. Look at this. This is like a oh my god, dude. <laughs> Fucking A. Couldn't we just had a normal battle? Show no mercy. We're fighting a unit of crossbowmen over here. Oh, so is he frightened by enemy unit? That's pretty cool. We've also started poisoning them. Uh, I wonder, like... I want to know exactly how these units work, you know? I really want to see. At the ready. Take heed, warriors. 
Let's go send my generals in for a bit. Like some good routing going on right now. You really still have this many men. <laughs> What's the numbers? Oh, they've only it says they've got 752 left. How do they still have ammo? Are you kidding me? A repeating crossbowman unit? Get the hell out of here. The army losses. Oh, my old friend, army losses. Ah, uh, God. This 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 episode went like thirty minutes over. Ooh, this unit rallied. I guess they started routing and then they came back. This bat. This episode went like thirty minutes over because of this battle. <laughs> oh my God! Just because I wanted to take this stupid town. The only thing that would make this perfect. Is if the game crashed right now that would just that would just put be the cherry on top <laughs> oh man life is fleeting as is victory in these chaotic times only the strongest can survive the storm that ravages china uh-huh all right the continue are not so fortunate. And it will be there we go 3649 lost and we lost a thousand one hundred and thirty Okay. Our dominion grows. Let's go ahead and occupy this territory from the Duchy of Zong. Is forged anew. Uh, dismiss, dismiss. Don't care. Deflect with shield. Cleave with. That was a whole lot of work for this. Uh, for this iron mine, man. Oh, Duchy of Zong spread pretty far, man. Check that out. Oh no, it's Chen. Oh no, not again, dude. <laughs> but uh, Duchy of Zong's pretty strong, man. All right, looks like all of my generals leveled up from that battle. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and give him the enable encourage. Let's give ranged armor piercing damage. Um, this gives 10% speed. Enables encourage. Uh, 10 unit morale. What can she recruit, actually? Is welcome, my lord. Mm, nothing particularly interesting. Um, wish, my lord? I was going to see if I wanted to give her, uh, what's it called? This one for better archers, but I think not. Uh, can target, can use. This is a heal amount. Let's go. Let's try that. Why not? Maybe she can actually heal some of my men. All right, this is subtlety. This enables guerrilla deployment, and this enables night battles for this army. I don't know if we already have night battles. Not sure on that one. This will give more melee armor and melee piercing damage. Let's go ahead and give this one for more melee piercing damage. All right, that was a tough, tough battle. Uh, kind of a grind out, grind out, good old fashioned slobber knocker. Uh, a total war style. All right, so we've got a lot of developments this episode. I think let's go ahead and let's scroll through these real fast. I've got rebellions everywhere, of course. Income is positive. At least there's that. All those generals gain better armor from that too. That's all really good because that makes them better in combat. You know, I haven't had an audio crash in quite some time, I have to say. Not to be, uh, not to brag or anything, but, and you know what I've, and you know, I've, I gotta say, I've also done basically nothing to, to actually deal with that. <laughs> I haven't really done anything. It just seemed like an issue that just kind of resolved itself. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and save our game. 
uh some crazy battles this episode some kind of cool battles too uh that previous one was just kind of more of a grind out fight but yeah we are at 125 turns you can see kind of how large my territory is we're just kind of uh blitz krieging through different areas where we're, we're kind of pounding the duchy of zong into position that's uh yuan shu and there's still like a large war kind of looming on the horizon we took some blows from kong wrong but it seems like that's kind of tipping in our favor we still have to take back i this this bothers me as much as it bothers you guys but uh, we still have to go uh fight off that kong wrong expedition force and reinforce my borders and we're also at war with the kingdom of ba too so we're going to have to... I have an army down there. I don't know if that army is going to be able to take on the Kingdom of Ba all by itself. Uh, we'll have to find out. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys are enjoying the Gong Du campaign. Uh, and more Gong Du campaign to come, guys. Thank you, guys. And I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.